Hey, this is Doug Perkowski with part two of a two-part video tutorial talking about Autodesk's Project Pinocchio. Uh, we went to projectpinocchio.autodesk.com and created a character and downloaded him and got him talking inside a face effects studio in the first tutorial. Um, and now we're going to get that character inside of a Unity demo. Um, so we've already got um, the guy in face effects studio. Uh, if we dragged audio on here, uh, he would start talking. All of his targets are set up. Uh, he's got a face graph, and uh, he's ready to go from a face effects studio point of view. Now we could just generate animations and export FBX files and uh, import them into Unity that way. Uh, but in this case, what we're going to we're going to use Unity's uh, and face effects is XML integration. Uh, so we're going to export a collapsed XML actor, um, and uh, that's all we need to do there. And then we're going to drag our project files into Unity um, and uh, add one of these characters to this demo. And so this is a demo that we created um, to test out the text-to-speech to animation pipeline. Uh, you can type into these boxes, it goes up to our text-to-speech server, uh, audio gets generated, uh, and then the character speaks it back to you. And so we're gonna, these characters were actually uh, Evolver characters, and so we're ju we just transfer the settings from one of the characters onto this new Project Pinocchio character, uh, which is essentially the same thing. Um, and so now anybody can generate new characters, uh, bring them into this demo or other demos, uh, and swap them out uh, interchangeably and so forth. Uh, we're happy to set to share these uh, um, the Unity project files with any of our face effects customers that want to try this out. Uh, so once we've dragged the uh, uh, the characters on. We get a warning about the uh, the normal map. Uh, we'll just tell it to fix that, um, and we need to make sure that we've got our scale factors uh, set up correctly. Um, I've set this demo up with scale factors of one instead of 0.01, and so we'll change that on the FBX file, and then we can just drag this guy onto uh, our scene. There he is. Um, the camera's clipped him out a little bit because his position's all funky. So we'll zero out his position. And then we'll just make him sort of uh, we'll box this guy off with the rest of the characters so they create a little uh, grid to, uh, to talk to each other in. Um, now, specific to this demo, uh, there's a few uh, scripts we need to add to this character. Um, uh, obviously, we've got to add our. Uh, um, our uh, face effects controller script that's going to be dynamically uh, downloading animation data from our server and constructing the, the Unity animation and so forth. Uh, that's why we're using the XML integration because of the TTS demo. Um, so we, we're going to add our uh, face effects controller script and we select the guy. We can see the interface. I once again have to tell it about the scale factor. Um, and then I'll import the XML file that I created before. Um, and uh, you know when you're using prefabs you probably want to generate .anim files for all of these animations that are being created uh, for the bone poses um, but uh, we're not doing a lot of prefab work so we'll just skip that for now um, and the other thing specific to this demo uh, we need is a camera as a sub object of our character here uh, and that's the camera that we will use um, to, uh, to look at this character. Uh, so we'll position the, the camera in front of him. And then when we type text into this guy's uh, box, it will zoom in on, on this camera. And the one other thing we need is the TTS voice uh, file that specifies what voice this guy is going to use. Um, and we'll just make him male. And our, uh, our main script here specifies that uh, um, you know, we had it set to this guy, uh, Lomoff, and we're going to change it. Uh, we're going to change it so that uh, Lomoff's uh, character is replaced by our new guy here. And so we just need to select. There we go. 
Uh, now when we hit play, we should um, uh, we should be it will hook up to our text to speech server and our guy should talk if we've done uh, everything correctly. And when we type in a Lomoffs box, hi there. Um, a new character is going to say. Hi there. I'm a new character. And so there you go. We've got a new character into our demo that we downloaded from Project Pinocchio. Um, like I said, we'd uh, be happy to share these project files with anybody, uh, any of our FaceFX customers that want to try this out. Uh, just, uh, just let us know. All right. Hope you enjoyed the tutorials. Thanks.